Andrew McLeese, Stephen Peters, April Peters, Eliani Alabanza, from Renew Church in Newark, New Jersey. So one of the things we've learned on our journey is to begin with the gospel. Um, in planting the church in Newark, uh, we've realized that soaking ourselves and our church community in the powerful message of the gospel is what has helped us to um, develop community. The gospel shapes and forms how we view our city and helps us serve our city. Uh, the gospel on one hand tells us how, um, how far away we are from God and how we need help. And on the other hand, it says how much God loves us and cares for us. And we use that as a lens to then serve the residents of the city of New York. And one of the ways that we serve is through discipleship that comes out in the gospel message regularly. The emphasis on building small connections, uh, two to three people coming together, studying scripture together, getting to know each other, do life together, whether you're, you do work together or whether you have a social relationship or you're in the same church community, but focusing on discipleship. And in this emphasis of the gospel, we have learned that we should uh, shy away from programs that are focused on, too focused on strategy instead of the gospel where strategy overpasses or surpasses the gospel and we have also learned that holding regular meetings for our leaders where we can build communities and relationships with each other and within the church and throughout the city have been absolutely great for us. And one of the things about those um, leadership meetings is creating a safe place for leaders to share with one another. Um, and that's actually one thing we've learned a lot, or seen a lot here at the FNAS Network Global Gathering, is creating that kind of safe space. Renew Church has been doing that as well, um, so that there is an, an opportunity for transparency um, and openness within our community. So those relationships, um, inform us. It helps us to then now how are we going to serve our community, um, building relation um, relationships and um, being able to have impact in that way. Um, I would say that you know beginning with the gospel first, uh, making sure that um, you're soaking in what the gospel message is and your community in that message. Um, is the first thing and then the second is emphasizing and re-emphasizing the gospel message through the plans that you're making within your community and within your church structure um, is the is the most one of the most important things and in addition to that um, ensuring that as visitors are coming and going that they're hearing that again and again so that they know the identity of your church they know who you are um, and they understand why you're there um, and why you're there to serve